everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the bow tie stitch, which you can see here in front of you. Now this is a fairly easy crochet stitch to work. It's worked using double crochet stitches, a few chain stitches, and a single crochet stitch here and there. It's a beautiful fabric, it could be used in a variety of projects, it's the same on both sides. Today for the tutorial I'm going to be using a 5 millimeter or an H8 crochet hook along with a little bit of worsted weight cotton. This is the Pima Cotton by Lion Brand and links to these items can be found in the description of this video. Also in the description of the video you'll find a direct link to the free written pattern which is on richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here I invite you to take a look around, subscribe. This channel is updated every week with a new free crochet stitch tutorial and crochet patterns. So thank you so much for joining me. Let's grab our hooks and yarn and get started. We will be working our stitch today in rows, so we're going to start by making a slip knot. And then by working a foundation chain, our foundation chain today will need to be a multiple of 10 stitches, plus let me see here, two for your foundation chain. So today I'm going to be chaining a total of 32. and 32. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook, and then by working a single crochet into each of the next three stitches. You're then going to chain five. Next, skip the next three stitches and work a single crochet into each of the next seven stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Chain five, skip the next three stitches, and work a single crochet in each of the next seven stitches all the way across until you have seven stitches remaining. Once you come across and have seven stitches remaining, you're going to finish off by chaining five, skipping the next three stitches, and working a single crochet into the each of the final four stitches. That brings you to the end of row one. For row two, you're going to chain three, and this counts as a double crochet stitch, and turn your work. Next, you're going to double crochet into each of the next three stitches. Chain three, skip the next chain five space, and work one double crochet into each of the next seven stitches.
chain three and repeat. Skip the next five stitches. Work one double crochet in each of the next seven stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way across where you will finish off with one double crochet in each of the final four stitches. I'm at the end of my row two, four stitches remaining. Your final double crochet is worked into the, to uh, the tops of any of the chain threes or that final single crochet down below of row two in this case. So that brings you to the end of row two. You can then chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch, and turn your work. For row three, we're going to double crochet into each of the next three stitches. You're then going to chain two and single crochet into the chain five space two rows below. Chain two and now work a double crochet into each of the next seven double crochet stitches. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. Chain two, single crochet into the chain five space, two rows below, you're working over top of the chain three, chain two, and work one double crochet into each of the next seven stitches. All the way across where you're going to finish this row by working a double crochet into each of the final four stitches. I'm at my final space here, chain two, single crochet, chain two, double crochet into each of the final four stitches. And it's in this row where your final stitch is going to be the top of that starting chain three. So you're just going to insert your hook into the top of that starting chain three. And that brings you to the end of your row three. For row four, we're going to chain one and turn our work. We're then going to work a single crochet into each of the first four stitches. Your chain one does not count as a stitch. You're then going to chain three, skip the next chain two, single crochet and chain two, and work a single crochet into each of the next seven stitches. Chain three, and repeat. Skip the next chain two, single crochet and chain two, and single crochet into each of the next seven stitches. You're going to repeat this all the way across where you will finish off with a single crochet into each of the final four stitches. You'll remember that your final stitch is in fact the top of this turning chain. That brings you to the end of row four.
You're then going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet, and turn your work. For row five, we're going to double crochet into each of the next three stitches. And then work three double crochets into our chain three space. Work one double crochet into each of the next seven stitches. And repeat. Work three double crochets into your chain three space. followed by a double crochet into each of the next seven stitches and you're going to repeat that all the way across until your final four stitches and you'll work a double crochet into your final each of your final four stitches And that brings you to the end of row five. As for the repeats in this pattern, that's all there is. For the rest of the pattern, you're going to repeat your rows one through to five for as long as you would like. The only difference being that when you work your repeat of row one, you're going to work your first single crochet right into that first single crochet stitch. So start with your four single crochet stitches, then your chain five, skip three, and so on. And that's all there is to working this bow tie stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, don't forget to subscribe and uh, be sure to check back again soon for another stitch tutorial or crochet pattern. Until then, happy crochet. Bye. Mm -hmm.